Guys, welcome to Behind the Scenes of OFR. You are here at Predatory Fins. Welcome to Behind the Scenes of OFR. You are here at Predatory Fins. Wait, wait, so this is Behind the Scenes? Yeah. Are we allowed to be first? Is there a direct No. So you are basically going to get Will's perspective of what he thinks Predatory Fins shop is like. There's been a lot of upgrades, and I even come in here and I want that and that and mm -hmm. that. But, you know, this man loves his fish too. He's not going to give me everything I want here, but I can at least try. All right, so we're back here at Predatory Fins. Um, you've seen I'm down here in Florida doing my thing. And I want to show you some of these monster, monster fish that Rodrigo has in his tank. Uh, this is a monster tank. It's got some huge fish down here. You see those red tails in there. I think those, uh, they're not albinos. They're different kind of uh, color morph red tails. But he's got some other red tails back in the back there, normals. He's got a Pariba back there back in the corner. But the star of these tanks, without a doubt, we got a couple guard here also, some massive guard. We have a nice little soft shell turtle here. I'm not too sure what type of turtle this is, but he's beautiful. But the star of the tank, without a doubt, these guys. Look at this guy right here, how big he is. I mean, I'm gonna put my hand close to the glass. I'm not gonna touch the glass, but he is huge. See if we can pat him. Hey buddy, how you doing? He is huge, and there's two of them. Look at the orange markings on him. This guy right here. At Ohio Fish Rescue, we're used to Brutus, and Brutus is uh, not as big as this guy, that's for sure. This guy right here, he's a huge, huge specimen. And right next to him over here, just chilling, hanging out, we got this guy. Look at him. He's just as big. Coochie, coochie, coo. These huge arapaimas. Look at the markings on them, they're stunning. And that orange along their sides, man, that really, really pops. They're just waiting for some food at the moment, but I, I'm not gonna feed them, obviously. But they're huge. Let me see if I can get a above water view. Look at these guys, woo! Huge, I'm not putting my hand anywhere close to these guys. Good Lord. I mean, how would you like to run into this kind of fish in the wild? Wow, you guys see all those markings he has on him? Unbelievable the markings they have on these guys. Pat them. Hey, that this huge Arapaima. Nice. See this guy, he's huge too. And we got the turtle, he wants some attention. The cars, a whole bunch of stuff here at Predatory Fins. Hope you guys are really enjoying this video. I'm really liking being here. This place is something else, I'll tell you. And these are Arapaimas. Look, look at him. He's huge, huge, huge. Look at how big he is. Good Lord. Stick with me in one second, I'm gonna show you an even better treat. Well, I don't know if you can beat this. Th these guys are amazing. But behind me, there's a saltwater tank with sharks and all kinds of stuff like that. And I'm gonna show you that to you in one second. I just wanted to show you these, look. Yeah. Josh, what kind of turtle is that? That is a fly river That's what turtle. I thought it was, but I didn't want to, you and know. That's about the size of the one that latched onto my toe. You got fly river turtle there? It hurt. Wow. <laughs> Look at these arapaimas, man. Sheila. 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 Oh, that's Sheila. Okay, I was wondering. I hear them called, you know, Sheila, Sheila, but I didn't know who they were talking about. Look at those arapaimas, Josh. Good Lord, dude. They're like monsters in here. <laughs> Look at that thing. Look at the mark, stunning markings on him. I'm gonna be feeding the, the koi. I mean, not the koi. The arapaimas here. All, all the food, actually. All the fish. <laughs> feeding time here at Predatory Fins. Look at that. That's not the cool yeah. These things are huge. They're prehistoric monsters that remind me of. Oh. 
So here's another tank that Rodrigo has here. He has some peacock bass in it. He has some vampire fish, as you see, some paribas, and some, oh, he did. has also some uh, array in there. Paribas, there's the vampire fish right there. Vampire fish, silver dollar. Peacock bass up top. He's got so much, so many fish here. So many different kinds. Just a wonderful place to visit. And once again, if you guys are interested in any of these fish, go ahead and go to his website, predatoryfins.com, and he has all these fish for sale. Well, not all of them. Some of them are his personal fish, but the ones that he has for sale, you can go ahead and purchase them. Beautiful, beautiful fish. Look at the vampire fish. Armatus. It's an Armatus. He's got three of them, or four of them, five of them, six of them, seven of them. Man, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Seven armadas in here. So here we are, predatory fins, and I was told you I was gonna show you the salt water. Here's the salt water he has. Look, the hammerhead shark he's got down there. Uh, he's got a huge, there he goes, another, I think it's a nurse shark. And the hammerhead, look at that shark. I mean, wow. This salt water, I'm really, I really like the salt water. Myself, once sooner or later, I'm gonna give myself like a 350, 500 gallon tank, and I'm gonna go ahead and uh, have a huge, beautiful salt water tank. This is how I'm gonna do it. You see this huge shark. Let's see if I can get you guys a better view. All right, here we go. There, there's the hammerhead again. I think that was the hammerhead. Man, I'll tell you, this is a huge, huge tank for the salt water here. He's got a huge nurse shark in here doing his thing or her thing, whatever it is. There he goes. There he goes. Went up by. Here comes the hammerhead. Hopefully, he come back this way. I'm not sure. Yeah, here he comes. There's a little guy. And here comes the bigger guy coming to say hello. Man, look at that beautiful shark. There's the nurse shark. Beautiful stuff here, the predatory things. Beautiful things.
last but certainly not least, well not last, but next I guess I should say, is this huge tank that Rodrigo has. You gotta see the huge koi he's got in there, the butterfly. I mean not the butterfly, but the peacock bass. Got the stingray in the back back there. Amazing tank thing he's got here. Look at the arowana. Amazing stuff. Look at the dove. I believe that's a dove, the dove eyes back there. Don't hold that against me. You guys know me. I don't know all the fish, but I'm, I'm learning. So if I, you know, get one mixed up once in a while, please bear with me. But I just wanted to show you how big these fish are, man. They're huge. Look at the, uh, I don't know if that's a fly river albino or if that's just a soft cell turtle. We have the karami here. We have the stingray here doing his thing. Look how big that go. I believe that's a go by, but look how big it is. Amazing. These fish here are huge and amazing. Moon sharks zip, zip, zipping around. Once again, Rodrigo here, man. He's got it going on. Check out his website, predatoryfins.com, and go on YouTube and check out his channel also. Beautiful stuff. Arowana moves them by. They think they're gonna get fed, but I'm not Rodrigo. I don't feed you. What kind of shark is that, Josh? Hammerhead. Hammerhead, huh? It's not Oh, Bonnethead. I'm sorry. Bonnethead? It's hammerhead, I'm going to speak. Uh -huh. <laughs> water just for oxygen is what you're saying yeah the object is to get as much oxygen past their, their gills because being in transport they're not able to swim and get oxygen past their gills okay. that's the ma main thing with sharks they have to keep swimming okay. so we're trying to do the right thing for these sharks here right, rigo has got one over there we got one here there we go. wake up buddy you don't want to go backwards Action. All right, guys. So I hope you enjoyed the rest of the tour with Will Star, seeing the rest of predatory fins behind the scenes. But in here is something that has not been finished yet. This is the start to his salt water show room where he's going to be selling off all of his salt water fish. So in here, you have a bunch of bumblebee groupers. So as you can see, there's still tanks that are empty. They're being plumbed in. So he's still got a lot of work that to do. But over here, this bow front tank, there is some beautiful fit fish in. And also look at those ultra rare albino sharks. I can't compete with that. We got bumblebee groupers. There's a uh, the blue hippo tank. All kinds of stuff in here. Beautiful fish, these salt water man. I, they're just stunning. I think that's a Nassau tang right there. Yeah, tang. Blue tang, I think. Um, a couple and of and there, there will be back Yeah, there. a couple clownfish in there. See, you know, I might be a freshwater guy, but I know a thing or two about salt. Yeah, he yeah. does. And you guys know out there, your boy Will Star is pushing for that salt water at all far. At least one tank. All right, Boy. guys. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you guys want to see more crazy adventures or behind the scenes, you guys are going to have to hit that subscribe button. As always, stay, stay fishy, fishy, my friends.